Well, you know, I look, in 1986, the MOCA opened in November of 86. Not that I mean, MOCA had the TC and all this stuff. The, the building on Grand opened in November of 1986. I, my mom and I went to the new museum on the first day it was open to the public. And we were the 11th and 12th people to buy tickets to MOCA. Okay, so I've been going, I've seen every fucking MOCA show there is. Okay? And look, it's not 1986 anymore. Okay? So MOCA had been operating under the assumption that rich people will give them $5 million to do what they want to do with it. People with $5 million who are in the art world now build their own museum to glorify themselves and their collection. Jeffrey Deitch is very forward-thinking. He's solving an existing problem before it destroys the institution. He wants to make the museum an exciting place for the general public to go and work on getting donations from the general public instead of a few conflict of interest collectors. He doesn't want their $6 million donations because they're not going to give it. Okay, Those days are over. They're not coming back. Jeffrey Dutch realizes this. It's a painful process, but it's change. And um, so I support what he's doing wholeheartedly. Um, I haven't liked all of the shows he's done, but I respect them. And curatorially, you know what? Mocha had years of, you can look over their archives. They had shows that were so conflicted with their friends and friends of friends in the same few galleries that if there wasn't a conflict of interest where they were making bribes under the table, they're idiots. They should have been because it was just such a, a clusterfuck conflict and it was a museum of no, it was all this illusion of, oh, well, the difficult art, if art is difficult, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's good art. So there was a lot of art over the years at MoCA that was sleek and minimal and it was bullshit. It was terrible art then, it's terrible art now. The shows that haven't stood the test of time. People talk about Paul Schimmel. Oh, Paul Schimmel, his show, Helter Skelter, was about reading the institution of the academic influence. And then it became an even more academic institution because of these, because of the success. He brought success in critiquing terrible academic art and the museum became more academic and stultified as a result. Paul Schimmel curated the Takashi Murakami show, the least scholarly hunk of shit that has ever been shown at that museum. A total conflict of interest. And so what Jeffrey Deitch is doing is necessary, it's painful. Goodbye, art world. We're going to be a museum for the public. Goodbye, a little clique of people putting an artist in so that the value of it goes so that you can flip the artwork you bought. Goodbye, that's gone. I think it's a beautiful thing that Jeffrey Deitch is doing. I've thought about this long and hard. My initial reaction was that Paul Schimmel's absence was going to be a terrible thing. And now I actually see the light like 10 years from now. Every museum is going to be doing this or they're going to be subsidized by one idiot who gets to pull the strings because of his money.